So Rudy Giuliani had his law license suspended in New York, and he potentially faces even disbarment for his statements that are blatant lies about the election last year. But is he the only Trump crony who deserves to be disciplined by the bar? Let's talk about that in this video. I'm Mike Greiner. I'm a lifelong Democratic activist who's concerned about the direction our country is taking. If you share my concerns, maybe you could like this video, subscribe to this channel, and maybe even click that little bell that will notify you when I post a new video. So I was happy to see that Rudy Giuliani has, is being disciplined because his statements are blatant lies. And uh, he has done amazing destruction to the American electoral system with his continuing ongoing lies on behalf of Donald Trump. What's more is he has stated those lies in more than just the public forum through the media. He has actually gone and testified before certain legislators, including here in Michigan, and in so doing, knowingly lying before a legislative body is the type of thing that would be a breach for a lawyer. Now, non-lawyers might say, well, wait a minute, you know, lawyers lie all the time, don't they? And the fact of the matter is lawyers are actually not allowed to lie. Amazing as it may seem, we actually do have certain ethical guidelines that govern our conduct. And Giuliani clearly violated those guidelines when he lied, including in legislative sessions and in court, about the existence of electoral fraud in the 2020 election. But he's not the only Trump crony who's lied and done extensive damage to the system. Back in May of 2019, I wrote an article calling on the bar to discipline Bill Barr, the former attorney general who served under Donald Trump. Now, as always, I'll link to that Medium article below. For example, in this article, I point out the fact that Bill Barr himself also made false statements, which is a violation of the Rules of Professional Conduct, Section 3.3 to be precise. Well, Barr testified before Congress, much as Giuliani did here in Michigan, and in his testimony, Barr lied. And the lie that he said was that he had no idea of the reaction of Robert Mueller to Barr's descriptions of the special counsel's report. It's pretty clear now that this is a lie. And again, I have links to all the evidence of that in the article below. Refusing to cooperate with Congress is another example of a violation of the code that attorneys have to follow. And indeed, Rule 3.4c says that to knowingly disobey an obligation under the rules of the tribunal is not allowed of attorneys. Well, again, in the case of the special counsel's report, Congress subpoenaed that, which is an order that Bill Barr then has to comply with, and he refused to turn it over. That is a violation of his ethical obligations as an attorney, and he needs to be disciplined for it. And finally, there's an issue over conflict of interest. And conflict of interest is a very serious matter for attorneys because we need to put the interests of our clients first before the interests of anybody else, including ourselves, by the way. And that is codified in Rule 1.7b4, where it states that even your judgment, even your professional judgment can't be impacted by any feelings of conflict of interest. And to the extent that they are, you need to withdraw from the case. Now, I can tell you that as a practicing attorney, I did that more than once. And that was harmful to me, frankly, because of the fact that it meant I couldn't bill these people then for my services. It cost me money. Nevertheless, I had an ethical obligation to do that because I couldn't potentially represent the conflicting interests of two different parties. Well, Bill Barr, as attorney general, you have to remember, his client was not Donald Trump. His client was the American people. And to the extent that he felt conflicted over whether he could represent the interests of the American people or the interests of Donald Trump, he needed to withdraw from that representation. And you might say, ultimately, Bill Barr did do that, and he did. At the very end of his time as attorney general, after Trump had already been defeated in the election. And some might say, well, Bill Barr redeemed himself by the way that he affirmed that there was no electoral fraud that occurred in the 2020 election, much to the consternation of Donald Trump. But as an article in the Atlantic Monthly pointed out, Bill Barr was just responding to requests from Mitch McConnell, the Senate Majority Leader, who at the time, you have to remember, looked like he was going to continue to be Majority Leader. And it was pretty clear that Donald Trump was not going to be president anymore. So all that happened is Bill Barr realized that there was a shift in power. And him toadying up to Donald Trump the way he had throughout his time in that office wasn't going to work anymore. Instead, he needed to toady up to Mitch McConnell. So the truth is there was never any change with Bill Barr where he suddenly said, oh, I need to look out for the interests of the American people over the interests of Donald Trump or my political party. He just realized that the center of power within his political party had shifted, and so he needed to shift his allegiance within the political party. 
So I strongly urge the DC bar where Bill Barr is licensed to look at his license seriously and consider disciplining him for his behavior as a practicing attorney. You see, the problem is, if we don't discipline our own, then what's going to happen is attorneys will feel empowered to continue to flout the rules and regulations the way they did during the Trump administration. If we want to stop this kind of law-breaking and unlawful activity, we need to make sure that there is accountability for this behavior. And accountability has been what's been lacking so far. So if you agree with me or disagree with me, I'd love to hear your comments below. In the meantime, if you could like this video, subscribe to this channel, and maybe even click that little bell that will notify when I post something new. I'll see you in the next video. And in the meantime, let's hope for continued progress. Thank you.